Have you ever wondered why some brands just seem to stick around in your mind? Well, there's a little secret in marketing called the rule of seven. This rule says that a potential customer needs to encounter your brand at least seven times before they're ready and comfortable to make a purchase. Think about it. If you're creating YouTube videos or spending money on PPC ads or working on building out an SEO strategy for your website, a user has to click on your listing or thumbnail seven times to be comfortable converting on your website. That is a lot of touch points. One way to re-engage with your audience is through remarketing. If you don't know what remarketing is, you might describe it as those creepy ads that you see on Facebook or other websites that show the products that you've recently browsed online. I am a huge fan of remarketing, but the fact is, it's getting more expensive to do. However, if your business has a presence on YouTube, there is a type of remarketing campaign that you can launch that offers high visibility and low cost. Remarketing doesn't have to just be to people that have visited your website. If your business has a presence on YouTube, you can remarket to people that have watched or interacted with your YouTube videos. You can remarket to them using Google Ads. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the exact steps that you need to follow to create an audience of your YouTube viewers, and we'll start from the very beginning, linking your Google Ads account to your YouTube channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach and I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your digital marketing efforts and give you the confidence that you need that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an expensive agency that doesn't understand your business to do it for you. Before we dive in, make sure to grab my free PPC cost cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet. This document has been used by dozens of businesses to save thousands of dollars inside of their Google ads account. And again, you can get it for free at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, or I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so we are in Google ads and we are going to create an audience of our YouTube viewers. So what we're gonna do is we are going to search for audience inside of that top search bar. And then here we're in the audience manager screen. And what I like to do is I like to select your data segments and then it's gonna take a second to load and then it's gonna bring up this screen right here of any existing audiences that you've already created. So what you need to do is you need to press the plus button and then what we're gonna select is YouTube users. And, it, and then it's gonna bring up this screen that says new YouTube users. And then what you can do is you can name it anything that you would want, but then you need to link your YouTube channel to your Google Ads account if you haven't done it th thus far. And so that's what we're doing right now. I'm going in and linking my Scott Redgate YouTube channel. And then it's got some options here that you can select or unselect, but I'm gonna keep them checked. And then we select link. And then it says link complete. You've just successfully linked your YouTube channel. So. We're gonna escape this, and now what we can do is we can create an audience based on any of these criteria inside of YouTube. So we can say viewed any video, viewed certain videos, subscribed to the channel, visited the channel page, etc. And then you can see a few other options here. And then for this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, target anyone that has viewed certain videos. And so I selected that option, and then you can actually go in and search for your videos. And what I like about this is it limits it to videos that are on your channel um, if you have successfully linked your account. So here are a lot of the videos that I've created. And so I can select this one, for example, which is how to advertise on a specific website. And then I can go in and select this one. And you can go in and do the same thing for your YouTube channel. You can select any of the, uh, the videos that you want. And then it's going to create an audience of users based on this. And so I'm gonna rename the segment to say, watch specific videos. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and scroll down and it will pre-fill uh, this segment with people who have matched these rules, so have watched these videos in the past 30 days and so I'm gonna keep that selected. Then you can add a description here. All right, so now that that's been successfully created, we need to go in and create a campaign targeting these users. 
Now, you can create a campaign targeting these users on the Google Display Network, but what we're gonna do is we're actually going to create a campaign targeting these users through YouTube. So we're creating a YouTube remarketing audience that we just did, and then we're gonna remarket to these users on YouTube. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the campaign screen, or you can simply select on the left, create new campaign, and so I'm gonna go and do that in my dummy account here. And then where it says, what is your campaign objective? I'm gonna select create a campaign without a goals guidance. And then we're gonna select video for our campaign type. And then you can go in and select what is your campaign subtype. So get views, efficient reach, target frequency, and all of these settings, depending on what you select, it differentiates the bidding options that you have access to. And for the purpose of this example, I'm just gonna keep it at get views. And then you go into the next screen and you can name your campaign. So we'll name it whatever you would like. I'm gonna say YouTube remarketing. And then you can list the budget that you're comfortable with. So I'm just gonna put $50 here. Keep scrolling down. And then you can set the end date for the campaign or you can keep it running indefinitely if you would like. As far as the networks, um, you've got YouTube and then their video partners. I'm gonna unselect the video partners and the reason for that is from a quality perspective, it's just a little bit higher quality if you keep it on YouTube, you create uh, or you select your location. Um, and I'm just breezing through this to get to the main section where you can now target that audience that we just created, and it's the audience segments section. And so now let's go into the browse tab and let's see if that audience that we just created is listed here. And so now that we're in the browse tab, we can go with how they interacted with us. And there it is, watch specific video. So it's right there. And it's gonna say that the audience is zero people right now. It takes a little bit of time to populate, but it is listed there. We have selected it. And then after this point, you can just go through and uh, continue creating your campaign and make sure that this audi audience expansion is turned off because if you have that enabled, it will go beyond your standard targeting settings, which is the audience that we created, which is targeting a specific list. So you can go in and then you can finish writing and creating your ad and then you've targeted that audience that we created and you've made sure that audience expansion was turned off so that this campaign will only target that audience which was users who have viewed certain videos on our YouTube channel. And that is how simple it is to remarket to your YouTube audience through Google Ads. Hey, I hope that tutorial was helpful for you on how you can set up a remarketing campaign to your YouTube audience. And I would be honored if you could do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little boost in the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, take care.